This is so creeping me out, though. So you're not turning. The car is turning. Right. That's getting renewed attention, the autopilot system. The function aids driving tasks like staying within a lane, but it is not supposed to replace a human driver. We can't expect people, you see how it's like warning what, us? Yeah, what did, why did it do that? Because my, my hands are not on the wheel. Well, what's the purpose of having autopilot if you still have to put your hands on the wheel, Elon? Oh, it, it, because the probability of uh, an accident with autopilot is just less. National Transportation Safety Board by releasing the results before the investigation was completed. Yeah. Why did you do that? Well, it's actually, it, we've always released Are the results. Are you on autopilot now? Yes, yeah, currently okay. on autopilot. The NTSB takes, they take a long time to complete an investigation. They'll take a year. So I said, look, we, we, you know, we can't wait for a year to release information. That's nice. way too long. Nice. But it's important to emphasize it will never be perfect. Autopilot will never be perfect. No, no, I mean, nothing in the real world is perfect. Um, but I do think that long term it can reduce accidents by a factor of 10. So there are 10 fewer fatalities and tragedies and serious injuries. Um, and that's a really huge difference. Hello, Tesla enthusiasts and tech lovers. Today, we've got some exciting updates to dive into, including Tesla's newest full self-driving software, version 12.5.1.2. We're talking major improvements in autonomous driving capabilities, like the elimination of the steering wheel nag and the introduction of vision-only in-cabin monitoring. Plus, there's some buzz about potentially game-changing pricing for full unsupervised functionality. If you're as curious as we are about how these updates can transform our driving experience, you're in the right place. We'll break down what these changes mean for Tesla drivers and the broader implications for the future of transportation. Before we get started, if you enjoy staying on top of Tesla news and want to keep up with the rapid advancements in electric vehicles and autonomous driving technology, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you the most up-to-date and comprehensive Tesla analyses. Now let's get into it. Here's what Tesla has been cooking up with their latest FSD update. So big news from Tesla as they roll out the new full self-driving version, that's FSD V12, 5, 1.2 for those keeping track. This isn't just another minor tweak, it's a major overhaul. Elon Musk, the man himself, has confirmed this major update is coming not just to the latest Teslas, but also to those hardware three cars. And yes, for those of you wondering, that includes the much anticipated Cybertruck. What's even cooler is they've managed to merge the software for both highway and city driving into one seamless system. Imagine cruising through city streets and onto the freeway without your car skipping a beat. Now, for the first time, you can pop over to Tesla's website and check out a video showcasing these full self-driving features. It's like they're saying, see, it really works. This is a big step in making FSD something anyone might think about actually using daily. And speaking of integrating this technology into our daily lives, Tesla is actively working to make full self-driving FSD more accessible and user-friendly for the average person. They're not just focusing on the high-tech aspects. They're addressing the everyday frustrations and hurdles that often come with new technology. You know, those little glitches and complexities that can make or break your day. Tesla's tackling them head on, ensuring that their FSD system is as straightforward and intuitive as possible. Moreover, Tesla understands that cost is a major barrier for many when it comes to advanced technology like this. That's why they're committed to making FSD more affordable. They're scrutinizing their pricing strategies and exploring ways to lower costs which could mean big things for consumers. Imagine having cutting edge autonomous driving technology in your own car without breaking the bank. This move isn't just about staying competitive. It's about making the future of driving accessible to more people, perhaps sooner than we might've thought possible. This approach could significantly shift how we view car ownership and driving in the near future, making autonomous driving a practical reality for everyday users. Improving performance and making the system more user-friendly? That's exactly what we need. No more tech that feels like you need a PhD to use it. This update could be a game changer for how we all think about getting from point A to point B. Now, wouldn't that be something? Your car just zipping you around without you worrying about the route or traffic. Just sit back, relax, and let your Tesla do the driving. What's next, flying cars? Well, with Elon, who knows? If you've got an older Tesla with hardware three, guess what, you're in luck. This update isn't just for the shiny new models, it's expected to unify the system across the board. 
That's right, one software stack to rule them all. And get this, the AI behind the wheel isn't just any old software. It's getting sharper, more attentive. The latest tests show it's doing a better job than ever at handling all sorts of driving scenarios. Rain or shine, city or highway, this AI has got its eyes peeled. Now let's talk about what this update really amps up. Awareness. Tesla's FSD isn't just about cruising, it's about keeping you safe. With extra cameras now in play, the system's better at spotting anything that might come your way. Stray soccer ball, random raccoon, you name it, and the Tesla's likely to see it before you do. And here's a kicker. The upcoming 12.5 update promises a hands-free driving experience for everyone. Imagine that, sitting in your car, hands off the wheel, while your Tesla handles the morning commute. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's happening right now. And more from that. Tesla's just upped the ante with its full self-driving tech by adding the smart summon feature. Now this isn't just about showing off at parties. It's a real boost to how the whole system works. The smart summon feature means your Tesla not only drives itself, it comes to you wherever you are in the parking lot like a loyal pet. This really rounds out the user experience, making FSD feel complete, not just a fancy add-on. And there's more. All of this is running on a unified single stack system. What's that mean? It means better planning, smoother performance, and ramped up safety. Your car is not just reacting, it's thinking ahead, making smarter moves. Speaking of thinking ahead, let's talk about planning. Before, Tesla's planner could only look a couple of seconds into the future, which, let's be honest, isn't much at a busy intersection. That short sight was causing some hiccups, but hold on to your hats. The new and improved planner is now looking five, 10 seconds ahead, allowing for much more reliable decision-making. That's a big leap forward. Imagine your Tesla making moves based on what's happening down the road, not just right in front of its bumper. We're talking about a smoother ride, fewer sudden stops, and a whole lot less stress for you. Let's delve into how Tesla's full self-driving technology steps up when the weather turns nasty. Imagine it's pouring rain, the kind where the sky just opens up. Or maybe it's a snowstorm where the flakes come down so thick you can barely see the car in front of you. This is where Tesla's FSD technology really shines. It's not just about keeping the car on the road, it's about making smart, calculated decisions under pressure. The latest software update demonstrates a capability to navigate through these harsh conditions as if it were a clear, sunny day at the beach, making decisions with precision, no hesitation, just seamless, fluid driving. This kind of reliability in rough weather is a game changer, showing just how advanced Tesla's system has become. And then there's the clip of Chuck Cook's notorious unprotected left turns. This piece of footage has become almost legendary. Taken from the earlier version 12.5.1.1, it shows the Tesla navigating left turns at intersections that don't have dedicated signals. It's like watching a masterclass in autonomous driving. Where most human drivers might hesitate or make a rushed decision, the Tesla executes these turns with calm precision. It's compelling evidence of how sophisticated AI-driven cars are now handling situations that are typically challenging even for experienced human drivers, shifting focus to how this tech manages lane discipline. The lane centering feature is particularly adept, though it tends to favor hugging the left side of the lane slightly. In everyday driving, this might seem trivial, but it carries certain risks, especially on highways where lanes are narrower or in conditions where traffic is heavy. This tendency could lead to close calls with vehicles in adjacent lanes, particularly if the Tesla makes a sudden decision to change lanes. Speaking of lane changes, Tesla's approach here is far from impulsive. The vehicle doesn't just randomly switch lanes, it processes a multitude of factors in real time. You can actually see the decision making in action. The system might track a blue line on the display, indicating the planned path, then reconsider based on new data, and finally execute a lane change at just the right moment. This isn't just about moving over a lane. It's about understanding traffic flow, predicting the actions of other drivers, and choosing the optimal time to make a move. Watching this process is like getting a peek into how the car's brain works, balancing between cautious calculation and decisive action, ensuring safety and efficiency in every maneuver. The new 12.5.1.2 update from Tesla is doing more than just tweaking the tech. It's changing the game. One of the most talked about features they finally ditched the steering wheel nag. For those not in the loop, that's the reminder for drivers to keep their hands on the wheel, even when the car is driving itself. Thanks to advances in vision-only in-cabin monitoring introduced in updates 12.4 and 12.5, Tesla feels confident enough to let the car's cameras keep an eye on things instead. This is a big step towards making the driving experience smoother and less intrusive. 
relying purely on cameras inside the cabin to ensure everything's under control. And here's where it gets even more interesting. There are predictions that Tesla will soon turn off the cabin camera attention monitoring in various driving conditions, like on highways, busy city streets, or even during those bumper to bumper traffic jams. This would be based on the car's speed and the data it collects, making each drive feel more automated and less watched. Now, onto some juicy speculation that's been making the rounds. There's talk that Tesla might offer full unsupervised functionality for just $99 a month. That's right, less than a hundred bucks to basically turn your car into an autopilot machine. This has raised some eyebrows and concerns. Is it really possible to offer such advanced technology at such a low price? What does this mean for the safety and reliability of autonomous driving? Adding to the anticipation, the progress noted in the latest May 1st 12 update has people on the edge of their seats. The update is expected to drop this month and it's not just Tesla enthusiasts who are eager to see what's changed. The entire auto industry is watching. This could mark a pivotal moment in how we think about car ownership and driving. All right, folks, that's a wrap on the big news from Tesla with their latest full self-driving update, version 12.5.1.2. We talked about how this update is making strides towards more autonomous driving experiences, removing the steering wheel nag, and enhancing in-cabin monitoring with vision-only technology. Plus, we delved into the speculation around offering full unsupervised functionality for just $99 a month. What do you think about these updates? Are we ready to trust our vehicles to make all the decisions? And what are your thoughts on the affordability of these futuristic features? Don't forget to drop your opinions in the comments below. We love hearing from you. If you found this discussion interesting and want to keep up with all things Tesla, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Tesla Stock News. Stay tuned for more updates. And as always, thanks for watching.